and a lot of y'all are afraid to let go of things because you feel like it's hindering y'all for whatever reason it may be. But if you let God just do what he got to do for y'all, you ain't have to worry about holding on to the past anymore. And I'm going to read a, a Bible scripture today to let y'all realize and know exactly what he's saying about letting go of the past. And today I'm reading from Isaiah 43, verse 18 through 19. And it reads, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? That right there should let you know exactly what he's saying. The word perceive, biblical mean, do you see it? Do you understand what he's doing? He's telling you forget what you used to do or what someone have done wrong to you. He's telling you to let it go so he can make you grow within yourself. Some of y'all scared to grow because you still hold on to the past. And the past can never, can never reflect on your future. I'm going to say that again. Your past will never reflect on your future. Some of y'all hold on to a past because you think, especially the women. Let me put it like this first. Especially the women. Some of y'all hold on to the past because you think Tyrone did you wrong. First of all, Tyrone wasn't there for you in the first place. Tyrone was never your man from the beginning. Your real man was for Jesus. That's the main question right there. Now, when Jesus put a new man in your life, you're scared to love him because you, you still figuring out what Tyrone did to you. Forget about Tyrone. If you can't put your whole heart in this new man, put your whole heart into Jesus. That's what he's saying. Forget about the past, the former things. Forget about Tyrone. And they go for the, some of the guys too. Because here it is, you're so caught up with, with Lisa, and Lisa done done you wrong. Now he done bought you Michelle, and you don't know how to love Michelle because you're so caught up with Lisa done done to you. So if you can't forget about Lisa, how you going to love Michelle? You can't. So that way he tell you, forget about the past. Then you got some of these people out here, oh, Mr. LT, man, you, you just don't know. You know, I got a, I got a bad track record. He's not concerned about your past or what you used to do. He worrying about what you're doing now, how you're going to perceive it so you can grow. That's what he's saying. Read the scripture. If you need me to preach it to you again, I can preach this sermon to you all day long. That's what he's saying. Quit holding on to the baggage and get the new luggage. That's what you need to do. You need to let God do what he need to do for you so you can grow. Once you let go the old stuff, the new stuff will come. Then you will see yourself grow. Then you go for your finances. If your finances are struggle, he said, don't worry about your, your financial struggle six months ago. Give it to me and let me see. And you see your finances uprise in a new whole way. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Oh, LT, you, you, just don't, you just don't know. I grew up in a bad neighborhood. I did too. Best believe it or not, before I came to Minnesota, I was just like some of y'all guys out there in the streets, out there selling drugs, drinking, smoking. But when I forgot about the old things, look what he did for me now. I became a minister. Here I'm, I'm teaching people. I'm praying for people. I'm sharing the word of God. So that's what I mean by the word perceived. Now I can see myself grow into the man he wanted me to be. That's the whole meaning of that, of that, of being perceived. Let him do what he got to do. You just forget about the old things. Oh, LT, I really lost a loved one. I lost a loved one too. I don't lost more than one loved one. I lost my father when I was 17. I lost my mother when I was 27. But in the midst of me losing that, not saying that he can replace, uh, replace me with a new mother and father, but he gave me beauty for my ashes. The Bible said that if you lose something, he will give you beauty for your action. And also the word of God said that he will pay you back double. And guess what he did for Mr. LT? He gave me that. He bought me a beautiful mother-in-law, a handsome father-in-law, not one, but two beautiful sister-in-laws. So if he did it for me, he can do the same thing for you. Even when I was with a girl at one time for 10 years, she did me wrong. But guess what he did? He bought me the most beautiful wife that I can ever ask for. 
So he still gave it to me. So I forgot about the past and I started looking toward the future and that's what he did for me. So if he did it for me, he can do it for y'all guys too and girls too. So just quit holding on to the old baggage and hold on to Jesus and let Jesus guide you and direct you the way how he wants you to. That's what you need to do. Pick up the Bible. Start getting on your knees. That's what he wants you to do. That's why it's the word of God. That's what the word say. Forget uh, forget about the former things. He not, he's not pleased what you used to do if you drink. He's not, he not worried about that. If you was, in the, if you was a, a scribble, he's not worried about that. If you did drugs or if you sold drugs, he's not worried about the former thing that you did. He worried about the things that you're trying to do now to better yourself and the, and the purpose that he put inside of you. That's what he's trying to do now. That's what the word of God says. Say, Don't you see it? I'm doing a new thing. And once you forget about the former things, you will see the new things that he's putting inside of you. If you let him. But it starts from you, though. He's already on board ready for you. It's when you're going to get on board. It's the question. It's when you're going to get on board so he can do the new things for you that he already put inside of you. He already put them inside of you before you even thought about you being born. It was already there. So it's up to you to let go of the old garbage and get to get on board with Jesus. That's what this is all what it's about. So you don't don't say, oh minister, oh, you don't know what I'm talk going through. I don't been through that. I don't been through that back and forth. Trust me, my brothers, trust me, my sisters. I have been there and done that. But at the end of the day, when I once I forgot about that and I got on board with Jesus, mentally and physically, I forgot about the former things. Now look at me. I can see that I'm growing. I can see that I grew into a man of God. I can see that I grew into a man. I can see that I grew into a father. I can see that I grew into a husband. I can see that I grew into doing great things in life because I forgot about the former things. That's what the word of God say. The word of God never will lead you wrong whatsoever. So that's what I'm telling you. So I'm going to be coming to y'all every day with a different word and a different message, different message. Because I'm a youth minister, don't mean that I only preach to the youth. I can preach to anybody who want to hear the word of God because that's what he put inside of me. And that's what I say, just give y'all hope and inspirations. Whatever y'all guys or girls are going through, just remember, I done went through it. I done went through it more than one time. And every pastor or every minister can't say what I can say. Or oh, they don't been what I'm been. I don't live on both sides of the fence. I don't did the devil's work. Now I'm doing Jesus' work. So I forgot about the past thing, the former things I used to do by doing the devil's work. Now I see what I'm doing now by doing God's work. And how it has helped me and how I perceive it. Now I see me grow. I see the light shining all on me each and every day. So when somebody say, um, Pastor, pray for me, I don't sit there, okay, I do it. I sit there and do it right then right then and now. When they want to hear the word of God, I give them the word of God right then and now. So, before I close, I got a prayer. I want y'all guys and girls to pray with me. And it goes, Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life for you to take over, for you to help me, to guide me, direct me, and to use me and to build a relationship with you. And I believe in the mighty name of Jesus, by you praying that, by y'all guys praying that, that God is already at work on y'all behalf. I want to say I love y'all and God bless y'all. Peace.